This short training video will show you exactly how to add a placeholder and an already created task list in DocuSign Transaction Rooms. As you can see, I'm in my test room. I have a few task lists that have been pulled into the room, none of which have documents in them. But let's say I just got a property under contract and in the contract there's extra addendums that came along with the contract. For example, just a standard blank addendum or a buyer sale contingency addendum. Let's say it was uh, a new construction and you had a whole bunch of other documents that came along with it like the floor plan and things like that. You can actually create placeholders. Go up here to add. Name the task list that you want to add it to. Hit next. And you name the placeholder. Most of you will probably not see this required task here. Uh, this is for admin level, so you probably will not have that required task. And when you want to associate a document to this particular placeholder, you simply go down here to add, click add, and you can name the document coming in. Apply it, save it. You see that this placeholder has been added into the current pending task list for you to keep everything separated. To just place something in here, it's a standard process. Most of you already know, but if you click on that and you want to add something to it, if you want to upload a new document, you can upload it directly from your computer if you already got it put in there. Again, this is just a test. I'm just going to add my lead-based paint in there. Simple save, save, and the document is in to the new placeholder. And once all these were completed, you simply obviously submit the task list and it'll go to your prospective broker and ASC for approval.